So hi, uh, this is the explainer video of the file uh, with the emails. I have here unknown. Uh, so let's verify those manually, and you will see that most of the emails will be valid. Here for this email, I marked or I put this email here for this science because most of the time, 95% of the time, when I see uh, something, uh, these three icons along with an email address, uh, most of them goes to their inbox, so I put it as a valid email. Uh, but I'm showing the other emails here. This one, okay. So this one here is the email address and here a photo appeared. The reason this photo appeared here is because he had or he has or he have a Google Plus profile um, and he associated this email address to that profile and this is the reason why the photo is appeared here. Okay, let's see this one. This one here you can see a name appeared. That means this person have a Google Plus profile associated with this email address and this is the process how I validate email address with Google Plus and this profile is maybe something tricky let's see how it goes oh okay so as you have already put it unknown that means uh, the mail server is not allowing verification for this email let me try this one Okay, I have already tried uh, before I make the video, so here you can see server doesn't allow email verification. So in this case, this is a 50-50, but as I have put this email address in the list, uh, maybe I was sure enough to put it here as a valid email. Okay, let's see this one. This one here you can see a photo appeared, that means this email is ver uh, verified. And this one, uh, she has a... A LinkedIn profile associated with his uh, with this or with this email address. Um, let's see some other unknown emails. Unknown. Let's see if I can have uh, these two. Okay. Let's try this. These two. Here you can see for the first email or sorry last email Bridget Jones. She has a Google Plus profile and a LinkedIn profile associated with the email. So this email is 100% valid, but it uh, marked on the spreadsheet as uh, unknown and wrong. Okay, let's do this one. Okay, this one is some uh, kind of tricky, but as I have put it, I always uh, give a maximum attention for the quality. Maybe somewhere this email is available online. Okay, as you can see here is the email address Richard dot Dumas at the right. So this is the reason why I have the email address in the spreadsheet. Okay, so from the result you have uh, found from the resource or from where you validate or do the verification of emails are uh, always not correct. And I can guarantee you 95% of the emails are valid. Uh, valid valid from my database so thanks for you uh, thanks for watching